Good morning again. Here I am. I am at Lake John today, which is uh, another one of my local lakes. If uh, you caught my last video um, at Magic Lake, this is probably a fraction closer, but they are, if you look at them on an overhead view, <coughs> almost next door to each other. You could probably walk between the two you know, as the birds fly in a few minutes, but uh, completely different um, lake today. This is a big lake with an island in the middle. Um, probably just going to have the rods out today. A uh, little bit of method fisher, method feeder fishing. If I see any up on the surface, maybe the pellet waggle will come out. But uh, let's get the stuff out of the van and uh, go find somewhere to fish. And I'll catch up with you shortly. Finish setting up. I'm just gonna change this feed into a smaller one because it's a bit big. Oh, I've got my hook limps out either. Should we get out of there with? I think I shall start on a 16 kkh. Skip the hook limps up. Four inch hook lengths, KKMs, KKH. Go banded. Sunglasses on, but it's got quite dark. Preston ICS inlaid feeder, 30 grams. Should be enough to get me out there, I hope. I'm completely not feeding where I was planning to fish. Ah.
That's more like the last plane to fish. So just casting out some bait. No bait on the method feeder at the moment. I'll get another one in there where I want to fish. It's still out there. Very deep out there at all. So this is Lake John. As I said in the car, it's uh, just around the corner from Magic Lakes that I fished last week. As you can see, this is a completely different prospect to this lake. Uh, in fact, this lake appeared in the Angling Times recently as a commercial fishery you can go to to catch big carp. Yeah, plus 20s in here. I mean, the biggest carp pulled out of here was over 40, but that's not been seen in a few years. But, uh, I've been here a few times, not since. I've been over, which is over that way, just behind those bushes, there's the Match Lake, which I fished. A few weeks back, didn't film that. Um, I want to say I was reasonably disappointed by that lake, not because of lack of catching fish, it's just really, really shallow everywhere and really hard not to foul hook fish in there. If I fished it again, I'd fish it differently. I'd uh, probably fish on a jigger or something, self, some sort of self hooking rig. But today, uh, my plan is to. Um, Mostly fish with the method feeder out to the island or close. So I might get another rod out of the bag and clip that up short. Maybe a third. Maybe probably where you could reach for a pole, maybe just more, about 20 metres. That was a positive knock there. 
But yeah, I fished this many, many years ago. A bit like what I was saying uh, with Lake John, that um, and that's a fish on. So I shall stop my story there. about to say I don't know whether I'm going to catch anything here or not today I mean at least being hooked into something to start it's not coming in difficult so I think that might be a bream which I'm not going to complain about me bashing the camera again. I mean if I catch lumps like that all day I'm not going to complain. just over the, that was near, closer to four minutes that was, so maybe I'll, make these five minute casts, it's a new rod I'm fishing with today, one I picked up off of eBay, just over 100 quid, Dyer Enzone Z, 10, 11 foot, it can be either, method feeder, Yeah, so I was talking about the rod and it's a new Darwin Ninja 400 or 4012A reel. Just so that I've got a couple of method feeder rods that I can have set up. As I say, I'll probably leave this one clipped out back and I may get the other one out of the bag and that clip that short. But we'll see how this goes out the back. I'm struggling to catapult that far. Another green, I think. Oh, let's say this is a skimmer. Probably shouldn't swing that in. I mean, I think technically you call the first one a skimmer, but where do they stop be, being skimmers and start becoming bream? Eh? I mean, they're all bream, really. Just the GoPro. I've literally just changed to put in. Changed over to a hookable expander on a quick stop. Just put ground bait on the This is not a brain.
very lively carp. You wasn't fair looked, you've just re yourself, haven't you? Look at that. Come up. That's all we're going to get. This is the first carp. Doesn't want to swim out, does it? So I'm actually somewhere that's not super noisy. Far enough away from probably it's a little bit of industry as you drive in the road up the top there, but not noisy industry. There's something out there that's making a noise, but it's fairly quiet, I'm pleased to say. I'm editing these videos, listening to the sound. All I can hear is the noise that's going on. I've uh, changed my microphone, I had it set up all way again, which meant that when I was quiet, when I wasn't talking, the microphone gain just ramped right up and magnified the noise in the background so you're hearing lots of loud road noise on my other videos it's not really because it's that loud it's because my microphone gain was ramping up so I've fixed the gain now at a fixed level so the background noise should at least stay consistent and uh, there's not a lot of it sitting here it really is quite pleasant sitting here with the Early morning sun, well, 20 past 10. Early-ish morning sun. Right in front of me, right in my face. Yeah, that's on. Not a little fish, let's see if we can get some. Because I'm right on that. Right on the stop, I want to try and get a little bit of a line on the reel. That's not coming in quickly at all. So, so far, now it's coming in, now it's quite in sideways, now it doesn't feel anywhere near as heavy as it did. It's going to decide to get aggressive. Close in. It's got a bit more body to this rod than my 10 foot rod, which I suppose you'd expect on an 11 foot rod. It's made for casting out a bit further. It's got a bit more backbone up here. Yeah, the fish in here remind me of Blanham. And where as they say they go to 20 plus at Blanham, and I've never known anybody catch them at like that. Sorry, camera. Oh, 
that is a big long lean carp that needs fattening up for the winter that's the second one that sort of size all on the camera for you how's that thank you mr carp for playing ball Yeah, I watched um, Andy Findlay video on YouTube, Fishing the Method, and he used exclusively, well he claims to use exclusively, expanders when he fishes the method now. Um, and I prepared some four mil method, uh, some four mil pellets, but uh, four mil expanders. Sonia Bates four mil expanders, the ones that he was using, but uh, put them in cold water, everything he said, but they just fall apart as soon as I put them on a, on the um, quick stop. These six mil ones, pre-prepared ones in the pot, they're just harder, they just stay together. So they, they stay on the hook. But they don't fish like expanders on the hook. If you, the fish will take a soft expander over one of these hookable expanders, they know the difference. But on the method feeder here, these six mils have produced a carp where the hard pellets won't. Maybe the ground bait has made a difference as well. I must admit, I did two things at once, which you shouldn't change two things at once, but. Ground bait invariably brings fish biting when it's quiet and you can see the fish out there now moving around. If I could reach it consistently I'd feed some pellets over the top but I can't. But the ground bait's bringing the fish around. I did be my unhooking that today, but the bank here, or oh, oh, where you're fishing, right down, look, up a step. Going backwards and forwards with a fish is going to be a pain in the bit, pain in the neck. So I'm going to try and unhook everything in the landing net on my lap, match style. So this rod, this 11 metre, 11 metre, 11 foot, the new rod I've got here, I bought it actually with this place in mind, knowing that that island was a bit further away. And I reckon that's 40 yards out there, which isn't a massive cast, but I'm casting comfortably, comfortably a 30 gram feeder over there. Like a geese coming across. How cool is that? A couple, a couple more bream. Nice big one, like the first one, and a few small ones. I'll come in closer, about halfway. Maybe a bit closer than halfway. Getting a lot of bites, but. Uh, Not a lot of, I'm missing a lot of them for some reason, don't know why. So I'm doing a double clip up method because uh, there are some big fish in here and I don't want to fish halfway on the clip because I need the uh, line to run free to let a fish run. What I'm doing is I've kept it clipped up to the island and then I'm reeling back in 20, 20 turns on the uh, reel, clipping up again 
casting to the spot then taking the clip off so that I'm hopefully hitting the same spot every time but just not with the clip on all the time and I'm doing quite quick for every five minutes fishing with a yellow 8mm bandom sinker right at the moment Bumped off. Another little, little skimmer. Cast out. Hit the clip. Wind in twenty. One. Put it on the clip. Wind it all the way in. I think I'm getting played with a little fish down there. I'm aiming for the same spot out there on the island there but it's dropping short like that take the clip off so I'd just like to thank you for getting this far in the uh, video um, if you're liking what you've seen Please take a look at some of my other videos on the channel and give me a like maybe subscribe thank you back to the fishing and it's totally a different spot <laughs> which might not be a bad thing really do need to practice getting it on the same spot every time well change is as good as the rest they say See if we can get this one in.
They are lethargic. in a funny place Got grass all over it but that's a nice uh, carp as the day is starting to draw to an end here at uh, Lake John but let's see if we can get a couple more before I pack up Bit of a cop. It's nodding. I think it's very big.
Vous avez... That is going to be my last fish for today. Another big one, about 10 pound. That was hard work, hard work to unhook because its mouth would only open not much bigger than an 8mm pellet. Its mouth was so badly deformed, which isn't a great sign to see in fish. Hello, just got home after driving back from Lake John and I'm going to say this, that I ended up catching more fish than I thought I was going to today. Didn't feel very confident about catching lots of fish today because um, I've never caught a lot of fish when I've been to Lake John but I know that's a long time ago and I fish differently now um, but those two early carp looked like I could have been in for a lot of fish but then it went really quiet um, I tried fishing in different places tried in the middle, tried in the edge with the method feeder just the method feeder out today didn't do anything else uh, tried various places with various baits with both um, ground bait and um, two mil on the on the feeder but uh, I think all the fish I caught ended up being caught the same way which was a, a hookable expander on a quick stop and fished over ground bait on the method feeder uh, all out to the island uh, they say you the two quick ones I caught at the beginning and two quick ones at the end so um, I suppose I should have stuck there all day really because that looks like where the fish wanted to be and that's where I'd have caught uh, should have been more patient with it out there I'd probably done more but 42 pound on the clicker which was pretty much for those four carp and uh, a couple of nice bream a few skimmers but I don't count the small fish if you can't feel them in the net then they don't weigh much so they don't go on the clicker but uh, Lake John is somewhere I need to go to more often and, and just get just learn how it fishes and learn what to do I should probably pop along there and do another video fishing it with the pole because I've no doubt with the pole I'd have probably been pulling out skimmers uh, and, and bream all day but uh, it was an enjoyable day in the end even though there was a big period there in the middle where I didn't catch much and there's not going to be loads of fish. You haven't seen many fish on the video today because there weren't loads of fish to see. But uh, the fish I caught were nice fish. The two at the beginning were about eight pound, and the two at the end were, were close to ten. Um, it's a little bit of a shame that some of the mouths of the fish in there were quite badly deformed. That last one was really bad, really difficult to unhook it. Um, say so its its mouth opening was no bigger than a eight mil pellet, to be honest which possibly explains why I didn't catch anything on an 8mm pellet. But if you've liked the video today, have a look at the other videos I've got on my channel. Uh, they're all, all the same theme, all me fishing at different venues and working out how to fish them and determining whether they're worth your time fishing. Uh, you can certainly look at what I've did and learn from what I've did and learn to do the opposite. You might catch more, but please, uh, do give me a like and do subscribe and I shall see you next time. Take care.